more Purple Bandidos. Welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we actually did a bunch of anime stories. We went through a forest of Pikachus. We did the trippy Porygon thing that I guess was banned out because it gave people seizures. And in today's episode, we're going to continue on. And it seems like I don't want them to force it to evolve, so I'm hiding it from them until their evolution party's over. So I think this is actually the Eevee party anime episode where this guy has like three brothers who want him to evolve his Eevee but he doesn't want to evolve it. He likes it the way it is. So we're just going to go ahead and battle these guys too. Thanks to you guys for all your tips and your suggestions. Make sure to give this video a like. It really helps the series and I really appreciate it. So we're just going to take a moment here to battle these dudes and while we're doing that we can just talk about you know summers and, and summer days. We have a lot of cool things coming up. You know, 4th of July, I don't know, if you guys aren't from the States, I guess you probably don't celebrate the 4th of July. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I know that in El Salvador, they usually have fireworks there on that day, which is pretty cool. You know, so whenever I used to spend the summers over there, you could still at least celebrate the 4th of July in some way. It's because where I stay with my aunt and uncle, they're right next to like a U.S. embassy. So that's probably why the fireworks and stuff go, you know, they, they, do, they do all the fireworks and do all those things to celebrate, uh, which is pretty freaking cool. You know, I've been playing around with my friends since, you know, I'm here in, in this city with my friends, just, you know, living life, seeing what happens. We, we're trying to just figure out what we want to do, you know. Eventually, I feel like you become a little family and a home away from home, and that's kind of what we're all doing. You know, we're all kind of just leaning on each other, and we're just thinking like, all right, well, you know, what are we going to do? Well, it's 4th of July. Let's all get together. Let's do something. Let's plan something out. And we've just been thinking of what to do. And, you know, we know this place. It's called Ginny Springs. You guys know I live here in Florida. And you can go camping and do that sort of thing. And, you know, we were thinking about it. We're like, yo, why don't we try to find a spot and see if we can go up there and camp out? You know, I've been camping there before with a lot of my friends. And we just decided, you know, it would be really freaking cool if we could, you know, get a spot up there. So we've been working on getting that lately. And I think we finally got it. I, it's like first come, first serve there on 4th of July or something. So we're going to have to get there early. Uh, but it's really cool. You know, you can go camping. Uh, and then there's like a river float, which is like an hour and a half, which is just an absolute blast. And I'm looking forward to it. I really am super excited for it. I've been there before, uh, and it's been a really good time. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, camping, definitely one of my favorite things to do. I like being outside and, you know, just exploring and adventuring and, and doing fun things. You know, staying inside and playing games, it's all good and relaxing. But once in a while, it's kind of nice to just get out there and do it, you know. I hope it's, I hope a nice little cold front comes through for 4th of July. I think that would just be perfect for Florida. I think it would be super nice if you could just, you know, send a little cold our way, weather wizards, and uh, make it happen. Because camping when it's cold has to be one of the funnest things. I mean, it's not fun, you know, unless you have a really warm sleeping bag. But other than that, I think it's, it's pretty good to have a nice weather when you're going camping especially here in Florida where it is hot 24 7 and it kind of sucks uh, I'm the type of person I was just thinking about it today I always keep my like place really cool because I like wearing hoodies so much I just think they're really comfy and you know I just I really like wearing that sort of attire I, I was thinking today I'm like man I am definitely gonna move far far away from Florida when I have the chance because this place is just way too hot for me I feel like I'd fit in pretty good you know, up in the northern states somewhere where it might not be like, you know, freezing cold Alaska 24-7. But, you know, I feel like I could deal with snow here and there and just a nicer, cooler breeze and just a little bit of better, you know, weather than here in Florida. If you guys have ever lived in a hot place your whole life, I think you understand. A lot of people always tell me, they're like, you know, if you lived up north, if you lived in the cold, you would really hate it. And it's like... Yeah, well, I've lived in the heat my whole life, so I probably hate that even more. I, I'm one of those big believers in it's easier to warm up than to cool down, and that's definitely one of those things here in Florida. You know, you could easily put on a couple jackets and go outside in the snow. Cool, you're probably still a little bit warm. Florida, it's burning heat outside, and the sun is melting. Yeah, you're not going to have a good time trying to cool yourself off unless you're, like, blasting AC inside. You know, there's no way for you to have an AC unit on you at all times while you're walking around. Uh, but we went ahead and defeated these guys. They were actually really easy. They gave us a Thunderstone, a Waterstone, and a Firestone. And it looks like we've done everything we could here. This guy has his Eevee in the forest hidden away, I guess. So good for him. Now we're going to continue on. If you guys remember last time, uh, we ran around here for like two seconds. So I feel like there are a couple things we need to do here. The first one being that there's a Snorlax blocking the water from the river. So it, that's probably going to be a big problem for us. 
Uh, Snorlax blocking. That little dude's mine. It, lo it loves to snooze. I just come to what? You want to move it? Here, use my flute to wake it free of charge. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the Poke Flute. And now this is actually a Pokemon we need to catch. I'm pretty sure we need to catch the Snorlax. I don't know how many opportunities we're going to get. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's blocking water. We're going to use the Poke Flute on it. And uh, let's just listen to it, I guess. Snorlax woke up! It attacked in a grumpy rage! Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take on Snorlax then. This is one of Ash's Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure we have to catch this one. I don't remember there being another one in the show, so I'm hoping that this is the one we have to catch, and if it isn't, whoops! Sorry, I, I, I guess we caught one. Woo! I guess we caught the one we thought we were supposed to. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this guy down, though. A little bit of Thundershock, a little bit of Thunderbolt, and uh, we can keep on going. As I was saying, the cold is so fun, such a blast. If you guys have ever lived in an area that's just cold, or maybe you have seasons where the season isn't the sun melting outside every single day, consider yourself lucky. I remember when I was very young, I always watched movies. You know, yeah, of course, I always watched movies when I was a kid. And, uh, I don't know, just random movies here and there. And I remember seeing seasons and, you know, fall and these kids experiencing winter. And it was just like, I am so freaking jealous. I wish I could have experienced all that as a kid. To live somewhere where there's, you know, uh, leaves outside during the fall that you can jump in. Or it's really freaking cold and you can enjoy that. Or you can go and play in the snow and have snowball fights with your friends. I think there was this really old movie called, like, Snow Day. And I remember, it, it, yeah, it was called Snow Day. It was like a kid movie. It was pretty good. Uh, I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was like a Nickelodeon movie or something. It, it sounds something like that. Uh, and I remember all these kids get snowed out, and then everybody goes crazy, and they just have all these snowball fights, and they just go nuts, and uh, it's a crazy snow day, and everybody looks like they're having a blast. And I was just so jealous. I really, you know, I really wish I had experienced that. I remember when I lived in El Salvador, and I just started finding out, like, hey, I'm going to have the chance to move to the U.S. We're moving to the U.S. Yay! Uh, I, I remember thinking in my head, I had this idea, just this picture of what the U.S. was going to be like. And it was like snow outside. I thought, you know, I would wake up to snow. Because I had no idea back then. You have to realize, I was really young. I was probably like seven, I think. Uh, and I didn't know much about Florida. I didn't know much about the U.S. So I just thought, you know, Florida, I thought the U.S. was just a place where it snowed everywhere. I didn't think that, you know, oh... Florida is gonna be hot. I thought, oh, it's gonna snow outside. Like all these movies that are made in the U.S. No, I come here. Pretty much the same climate as El Salvador. So whoop did he do? Uh, never really got to see snow as a kid. The river's flowing again. Now I can feed my family. Let me give you something as a thank you. We got the miracle seed from the farmer. Don't really know what that does. If you guys have any idea what the miracle seed does, feel free to let me know. I think that is all we had to do here then. I don't think we can enter this building. So yeah, we're definitely done here in Route 20, the farm. And we can continue on with our adventure then. That was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to have a little bit more difficult time. I almost considered running back and getting some Ultra Balls for the Snorlax. But nonetheless, we did a really good job. So we went ahead and added another Pokemon to our team. And I think it's going to be pretty beneficial. All right, so we made it to Dark City. Let's see what this kid has to say. Yay! Get back inside this house right now. What are their Pokemon trainers out? Oh, wow. She seems like a lovely lady. Would love to meet her husband. I bet he's a happy man. Happy, happy man. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? We don't care who you are. If you work with Pokemon, you better get out of our town. What the fudge is going on here? Okay, so they, they seem to have a hate for Pokemon trainers here. Probably not a good place for us to be. But hey, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and see what we can do and what trouble we can get ourselves into. Uh, Nurse Joy, what is up? What, what are you doing here? You know, it's uh, fancy seeing you here. Thank you for, uh, you know, healing my Pokemon. You look lovely. It's great to see you outside of a gym. You know, just you seem to be looking real good. Are you working out at these gyms? or? Okay, well, there's the Yas Gym and the Kaz Gym. Very strange. Let's, let's see what's going on. I'm the Kaz Gym leader. You ain't nothing to me, so get out of my gym. Okay, that was what a lovely gym leader that guy was. So I guess there are two gyms in this town. I'm not really sure what the heck they're doing. I'm the Yas Gym Leader. You know whether to face me in battle. Okay, these guys are both super angry. Is there something we're missing here? It, there's something we gotta be missing here. Something's going on in this town. They don't like Pokemon trainers, and the gym leader's really angry. Maybe there's something here we can find out. Your Pokemon trainer? Try not to take offense to our townspeople. They're simply afraid of trainers. Please let me explain. In Dark City, there are two Pokemon. The Yas Gym and the Kaz Gym. Two gyms are in the middle of a gang war. They hire Pokemon trainers. They claim that whatever gym wins will become an official Pokemon gym. Hey, Kook. Give us the lunch special for 30 people. We have to be at the Kaz Gym in less than an hour. What, so if we haven't paid our tab, don't make us rough up your Pokemon. Oh, the twerps. Stay out of this. 
Okay, guys, so we're gonna be battling Team Rocket, and it seems that what's happening with the Yaz and the Kaz gym is that they are hiring Pokemon trainers to battle for them because both of these guys want to be gym leaders. This is straight out of the anime, which is pretty freaking cool, and hopefully, you know, we can settle everything in this town. I don't know why it comes down to us. You would think they would have an Officer Jenny down here defusing the situation. It honestly sounds pretty freaking violent for them to be hiring Pokemon trainers to battle for them. Kind of vicious, honestly. Kind of out there. Uh, I'm kind of surprised they would do something like that uh, in the anime, but that's okay. Uh, but like you guys mentioned to me, the Porygon episode was banned out in most countries because it was causing people to have seizures. And I think you guys also mentioned that the Santa one was banned. So those were like the two banned episodes. So it's kind of cool that, you know, the developer put them into this game for us to experience something that maybe a lot of us haven't watched. I know personally I never watched the Porygon episode. I might have to go back and watch it just for fun. And we just KO'd that Weezing. That was really freaking easy. Uh, and we have gone ahead and defeated Team Rocket. That was super easy, Team Rocket. Step it up a little bit. We're toast. We got 2160 for winning. And we are kicking some butt. Maybe the bodyguard game isn't for us. We'll finish you off next time. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Thank you for saving my restaurant. Ah, uh, no problem, man. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, I'm pretty sure now we can go ahead and see if we can settle things with the Yaz Gym and the Kaz Gym and the Kaz Gym and the Yaz Gym and the gyms. You guys pretty much get where this is going. We gotta settle this feud. So let's head inside of the gym then. And hey, guys, just, just coming here to settle things down. Pretty sure we're gonna have to battle this guy, so I don't know how many he's gonna have. So I'll be back once we've defeated him in a few seconds. Okay, guys, that wasn't too bad, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have another huge battle. Okay, these guys are seriously trying to kill us. He just threw four Pokemon trainers at us after battling him. This is pretty freaking tough. I'm guessing the same thing's probably gonna happen in the other gym. These guys are pretty freaking ruthless. So let's head inside of the next gym then. Maybe this guy will lighten up on us. Probably not, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that. We're also gonna have to battle him. So I'll be back once I've beat him. Okay, he was a lot easier. Losing makes me so mad. Are we gonna have another battle? No. Okay, I think that was it. All right, cool. So we don't have to battle his army of trainers. At least this guy is a little more peaceful and pleasant. Uh, and I think we've wrapped things up here. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a gang fight. I'm only gonna say this once, you guys. Kaz Jim's gonna be the official gym of Dark City. Save yourselves from trouble and just clear out now. I'm afraid you have things all mixed up. You're the ones who had better clear out and fast. Leave now or we'll crush you like the slimy insect you are. Oh, I've heard enough. Let's go. Today's the day we finally destroy you. Hold it. Huh? What? I'm the inspector from the official Pokemon League, Nurse Joey. I can never allow people to use Pokemon for nothing but street fighting to open an official Pokemon League gym. Thanks to Roger, your fighting was quelled. Only if you're willing to start over and rebuild this town or your reputation can you be considered to become an official gym again. Of course we are. We'll make things right. Cause gym. Yas gym. Return. Wow, okay. Rodri, thank you for your help in trying to unite these gym leaders and stop their ba- uh, You know, anytime, Nurse Joy. You just, you know, you thank me. Oh, you are the sweetest thing. You gave me a soothe bell. How about a date? You know, there's a nice little- t Oh, nope, nope. All right, well, thank you for healing my Pokemon. Much appreciated with that, guys. I believe we have done everything we could here for today. We are done with the Kaz Gym, the Yaz Gym, the Dark City. Dark City's a mess, honestly. The gyms have stopped fighting. Mommy says I can play outside again. So with that, guys, we will leave things off for today. Make sure to give this video a like. It takes two seconds. Leave me some comments. And let me know what's coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.